welcome to Altec Academy. Today, uh, in this training tutorial, we will try to learn uh, how we can implement Chat GPT, Chat API in a .NET console application, or how can we connect Chat GPT, Chat API from our console application. So let's start from the scratch. Let's begin. So as you can see, uh, this is the uh, main page where I can uh, or we can get the API details platform.openai.com. So this is the basic, basic page. And from here, you can see the overview of this open API platform, the documentations all are noted. Uh, this is the API reference. And here are some examples. They have also provided a playground to do some testing. So as today we will uh, integrate the API. So let's start from the scratch and call the chat API. And that means the chat endpoint API uh, from a .NET Core application and get the result as per our input. So let's get started. As you can see in the API reference, uh, there is introduction and authentication, and then endpoints are here declared the audio endpoint and the chat point, chat endpoint. So we will work today with the chat endpoint. We will try to implement uh, this chat object whenever we have write something on the chat GPT. Uh, the chat GPT always provide us a result so this result we can uh, get through chat GPT platform or using the postman so first we will try to create this from postman and then we'll move to that code to our .NET console application so let's start with this code so as you can see uh, for a uh, chat completion, uh, we are we need to call this is the main endpoint to call a chat. So let's start from here. First, we'll copy this one and we'll move to chat GPT. We'll create a new request. Post request. That's good. This is, and now we have to provide the headers. Headers we have. Then we have to add the following: the content type. Then we have to provide an authorization. Then we will provide the authorization. Copy. Now we have to uh, create an API key. Yes, you can see I've already created an account on this platform OpenAI and from here you can see that view API keys from here we can generate the key this one is create a new secret key first it's a default organization so I will keep it personal and we'll create a new secret key name is optional and not giving any name We'll make it a copy and then store in here. Done. That one is been done. Now I have to put this here. 
this one so our headers is complete and this is the post request and now i have to add here the body as logo i will pass this one this is the parameter this is the body okay now to paste these things now here i will pass my here in this content we will pass whatever question we have first uh, we will try to find out um, what is google Now uh, this is the uh, result of my search here I have placed what is Google and this is the reply from the chat GPT API. Now this thing we will implement in our .NET Core application. So let's move to uh, .NET Core. Uh, one thing is that you can use uh, the generated code that means uh, to generate this code uh, from the postman and we can directly use it in uh, our .NET Core application so to do this you have to go here and you will get this code here just copy this code zip it and let's move to .NET Core application now we will create a function information yes now under this we will paste that part just like that we don't need any extra code for this one and currently as we are a static method and uh, it is a it's not a async method so we will remove that async part from here we will call only execute also we will remove the await part it's just an example uh, I have removed this part if you wish you can continue with the async part I will show you the example with uh, without async so this is the function it's already ready to use just have a look on that function first uh, we have passed a basic url under this one then we have using rest client if you don't have rest client in your project you can uh, implement or you can add rest client from nuget package manager for do you see these packages yes the rest shop 108.0.1 if you go to the package and manage this one you can see it's installed over here the rest shop this is the version currently we are using so you can directly uh, install it uh, from nuget package the rest shop and this is the basic thing of the rest client calling a rest client if you see my uh, previous video you will uh, get an idea how to add this one Mm, I will provide the link over here 
but currently uh, we are directly using this one and on the request we are providing this one the v1 is the version then the chat endpoints the as the process is a may post method so it is showing method post and then mm, in the header part we had applied the content type and authorization and after that the token name and uh, then we are providing a body uh, as per the requirement of that api we are providing all the uh, parameters over here and here is our main parameter and this is the content uh, using this content the chat gpt will provide us the result so if i call this function from my main and we put here a debugger and run our application we will get the result This is the body we need to send. JSON format and when it execute, yes. Let's have a close look. As you can see, status code is okay. That means we are getting the result. And if we expand this one content section we are getting all those things just make it open here is the output if we deserialize these things uh, we will get the result in the class or we can store it in the class and wherever we wish to use we can use this one so this is a basic call of chat api of uh, chat gpt so i think it will help you to implement in your code application or in your dotnet application likewise you can call uh, any type of uh, api or using this type of api you can call from the console application suppose if we change our topic what is google and if we change this what is yahoo And again, we run this one. Ten. Check response status code. Okay. And if you see it's visualizer, yes. You can see uh, the chat GPT has provided us the information about Yahoo. So in this way, uh, whatever information you want uh, from your application end um, using the ChatGPT API, you can use uh, in this way. So this is a basic example. I have just tried to uh, implement these things so that you can understand the basic thing how we can call. So hope uh, you will be get benefited and be and you will be able to implement all these things in your application. Thank you. Thank you for watching. If this video help you then obviously share this video and like this video and support this channel thank you thank you very much